example of 100 audited real estate tax, or excuse me, estate tax returns, it was determined that the mean amount of additional tax owed was 3,423, with a standard deviation of 2,511. Construct and interpret a 90% confidence interval for the mean additional amount of tax owed for estate tax returns. All right, so what we're gonna use is just use the equation uh, X bar or the average plus or minus standard deviation. And then in this case, well, okay, so I don't, was it T alpha minus or divided by two? And then um, standard deviation iota over the square root of the number. All right, so this, um, so X bar is gonna be 3,423 plus or minus. Uh, so we have 90% here and then um, 90%. So you gotta be careful here. It's gonna be N minus one. So in this case, it's right around 1.660. It's not 1.645 for 90% because we're using based off of what how many we have. Okay, so um, 1.660. And then our standard deviation is going to be 2511. This is multiplying the whole thing. Divide by the square root of 100. And what we end up with is for the lower bound, we get 3,006.174, which we just round it to the nearest integer, so $3,006. And then the upper bound is, we just change the minus to a plus sign, 3,839. Round that to the nearest whole integer, so 3,840. Okay. And then interpret the 90% confidence interval for the mean addition amount of tax owed. It just says, you know, one could be 90% confident that the mean amount of tax owed will be between those two numbers, the lower and upper bound. So 90% chance that that mean will be between those two numbers. So I really hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching and you have a great